Okay, so this is question number 13 of the Kleppner Kolenkov and we will solve this question. So what does actually the question says? The so question says that uh, suppose this is round and uh, at t equal to one elevator starts moving up with uniform velocity. Up with uniform velocity, suppose the velocity is u. And at time t equals to t1, suppose that this elevator approaches the height h. This h. Now, uh, one boy from the roof at t equal to t1 uh, throws the stone. So, because of this velocity of the elevator, it, this stone will have initial velocity in the upward direction that is u according to the ground frame. Now at this goes up and then this uh, stone goes down and at t equal to t2 the stone comes to the ground again. So this is the so the stone will have path like this. So so we have to find the height h of the elevator we have to find the height h uh, of the elevator at time t1. So, uh, this height will be equal to the displacement of the stone. So, this height will be equal to displacement of the stone. So, okay, so we will use one formula for high finding the height that is s equal to ut plus half a t square. S is the displacement, U is initial velocity, T is time, A is acceleration. So we fix our frame of reference in the ground and uh, the height, uh, the displacement of this uh, stone will be negative. So as the stone is going in this, uh, in the below direction, in the negative Y direction, so, so S will be our minus H what will be u so u if the u will be the velocity uh, the uh, the initial velocity of the um, uh, uh, the initial velocity the, the uniform velocity of the uh, this elevator so velocity as you know it is as the as the elevator is going with the uniform direction with the uniform velocity so the velocity of elevator must be h divided by t1 and what is time the time of the uh, this stone takes from uh, this uh, throw to reaching the ground is just t2 minus t1 because at t equal to t2 this reaches and at t equal to t1 we have thrown so time of flight of this stone is t2 minus t1 what is acceleration it is minus z so if i put all the values then s is equal to what is ut that is h okay minus h equals to this h is this initial velocity is in upward direction so i have to put positive so h divided by t1 into t2 minus t1 minus half g t2 minus t1 whole square so minus h equals to h t2 divided by t1 minus h equals to minus half g t2 minus t1 whole square now minus h cancelled with minus h so h t2 over t1 equals to half g t2 minus t1 whole square so implies what is h h is half t1 over t2 g t2 minus t1 whole square so this is our height the formula for the height in terms of acceleration 